What's up, y'all? Look, I'm about to give y'all a hair routine, okay? Because um, some people have asked for one and because I don't know what the heck I'm doing with my hair. So I've been trying everything to figure out what product I should use. I have found a product at one point. I forgot what it was. So now I got to try something else. I got to keep my hair from being dried out. It looked like it was growing at one point. Now it's like, mm, I'm not growing for you anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. If you guys are new here, my name is Tasha. I'm a cisgendered lesbian woman. I just, me and Stephanie just learned that. We just learned what cisgender is. I'm cisgender, just, you know. I was born as a woman and I live as a woman. And I like women. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is a hair routine. So this is my hair, y'all. If you hear a person in the background, that's my 16 year old son. He's playing a video game, okay? This is my hair, y'all see? This is the texture. Um, it's cool. Uh, this is dyed. Um, it's kind of dry, especially the ends because I dyed the ends or whatever. Uh, ow. Ow. It's just not, I mean, who wants this? Look, I mean, it's like, okay. I got my hair in a ponytail. I'm chilling. I'm hanging out. My hair is in a ponytail. But look at the ponytail. Look at it. It's not doing nothing. It's not saying anything. I'm on my forehead is saying something. I want to say it. Okay, I ain't tripping. I was looking online yesterday and I saw some, not yesterday, a couple days ago, and I saw some um, products that this female was using on Google. So I decided to get the same products and see what they do for me. So I'm going to wash my hair. I'm going to kind of co-wash it because I already co-wash it means condition wash because I just washed it like two days ago. So I'm not going to wash it uh, too much and I don't really have anything in it. So I'm going to start with the leave-in detangler. This is Kinky Curly. I'm going to then put some um, Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. I'm going to try that. And then I'm going to top it off with a little bit of avocado and argan hair oil. Um, right now what I'm going for is the curly look. My hair is naturally curly. Um, a lot of my curls have fallen out because I pressed my hair. Or y'all, some of y'all. And for me, because I like, I love my hair pressed with a hat on, but I like my natural curls. And when I wear it pressed, it takes my natural curls away for a long time. So I think like three, 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 maybe three, four months ago, I pressed my hair out. And so the curls haven't really come back yet. It's kind of like wavy, dry, kind of type look. So I'm trying to get my moisture back in my hair, get my curls back and see what that do. So right now I'm about to hop in the shower. I'm going to come back with my hair co-washed wet. And I'm going to try these things and the method that this girl used, this other girl used. And I'm sorry, I'm saying girl because I don't know anybody's names. I just looked on Google. It wasn't even on YouTube. I looked on Google and looked at how, um, what I should use for my hair. And then I did see a YouTube video today. I subscribed to her, but I can't remember her name. Sorry. But um, she was like doing this with her hair, you know, with the curls or whatever. I'm about to, I'm about to start looking at her and see what she did. Anyway, I'll be back after my hair is co-washed. I'm going to have to come. You see, like, I have three strands of hair. That's what happens when I wash it. I literally have three strands. And then, I mean, all this is cut off for y'all who are new. So this has to grow back. And see, it's like this. So really, what can you... I can't do shite with this. I brought y'all back kind of early. So I got to finish my face routine. Might as well finish it with y'all. I use this. It's micellar water. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just use this every day. Usually in the morning and at night when I wash my face. Um, I use two of these cotton pads because what you're not supposed to do is wipe your face and then wipe over it again. You're just distributing the dirt. You're really supposed to just wipe it once, um, one way with whatever you're using. That's why I use two sometimes more. Okay. Anyway, this is not a good setup. Hold on. So first thing I do, I just let y'all know now, I kind of comb my hair through and get all the loose hairs. Not a whole lot today. Not a whole lot today, it depends. Um, also use this brush, which um, is a good brush for my hair. 
It's a comb brush. Hey, baby. This is a random video, so they know. They know I have arts to do videos. It's fine. Okay. So, I just did that just because I'm doing it, right? Okay, so we're going to try the Kinky Curly Knot today. And this is a detangler. My hair is already detangled. But whatever is in this, we got mango fruit extract, slippery elm, and some other stuff. I'm going to use about a quarter sized amount because I think that's what I'm supposed to do. A quarter sized amount for my whole head. I'm just trying to see what my hair looks like after. After it dries. So, detangle. Actually, I'm going to use a little bit more because the middle of my hair, like here, down here, right here, it's like rough. Rougher than the rest of my hair. So, it needs extra attention. That's where you want to put stuff anyway. Now, I'm just saying this because I heard a girl say that today on um, YouTube. I don't really know if that's true. I, I believe it is. It sounds good. So, I basically just took her word and said it because I want to feel like I'm doing something, you know. And then, uh, next I put on the hair milk, I guess. I don't know if I'm supposed to let it dry or what. This is a short video though, y'all. I'm just doing something, okay? I'm just trying to do something while Stephanie's editing. I'm going to edit this and it's just going to be out there. This is the Curl and Style Milk Coconut and Hibiscus. It's hibiscus, but I say hibiscus because I'm married to Stephanie. What? It's open really easily. Now this, I don't know. I guess I'll just use the same amount. I'll use, uh, it's curling style milk, coconut oil. They got some oil in it. So I'll use, somebody stole some of this stuff out of here. It was more in here. <laughs> Y'all hear my beautiful wife in the background? She's editing a video. Come on. Mm, this bitch don't want to come out. It doesn't want to come out. It must be real thick. Alright, I don't know if I should use this much. Not sure. Mm, lotion-y, no. I'm not going to use that much because I this stuff tends to weigh my hair down. I've never used this in particular, but I feel like stuff like this weighs my hair down. Put this in. Pay extra attention to that. this part of my hair again. I'm just trying to see how my curls look when I'm done, you guys. So, put that on the George Jeffersons and in the back. For those of you who don't know, who are new here, that don't know what the George Jeffersons are, these are the George Jeffersons, okay? This is the George, me. there you go. That's the George Jefferson. I cut my hair off and I'm growing it back. So, we making some progress. It's to my neck, okay? Now, the last thing I'm going to do is, okay, so I saw the girl on YouTube do this. I don't know what she was doing, y'all, but I'm probably doing it all wrong. I might not even have the right hair for it. I don't know. It seemed like her hair was similar to mine, but I don't know if it was the same texture for sure. But she was like doing this, laughing, and she took the front, uh, let's see. She took a little bit out of the front and she did this because she said the front was important. I don't even know if the front is important on my hair. So I don't know if I'm even doing the right thing, but I'm going to do what she did. And make some coils. All right. And then what I saw on Google was lock the moisture in with oil so i got some avocado and argan oil here's the oil y'all can't see and i think i'm only supposed to put the oil on the bottom so i'm only putting the oil on the bottom and then i'm just going whoosh do this and make that make sure you make the noise too when you do that whoosh because it makes you kind of feel like you did something so, I'm going to do this again, like she did. And then, 
I'm gonna come back when my hair is dry. I'm back, y'all. Excuse the angle. It's me, and you know I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the outcome. I definitely have a, a lot of shrinkage, a whole bunch of shrinkage. I don't always have shrinkage like this, but yeah, it definitely gave me shrinkage. It did um, bring my curls out more, but you see how they're still a little frizzy? It didn't do, let me see if y'all can see, I think y'all can see it better. It didn't like, I don't even know what you call it, define the curls or something. I don't know what you call it, y'all. It didn't do what it was supposed to do, like, like what I wanted. Um, it feels a little, it feels very soft, but a little oily. If y'all can see this, y'all can't really see that. Let me see. Okay, but I love what it did with my George Jefferson. Too bad I'm not going to be showing it like that, but it did make this, you know, uh, nice. I guess if y'all can see, it made it nice and mm, not dry. Definitely not um, something I'll be using. I guess it'll be something I'll be using. It's kind of, it seems protective to me, but yeah. Still on the lookout. If anybody knows what I can do with this hair to make it look moisturized, not feel oily. I mean, there's no oil on my hands, but it feels a little oily. Um, the frizz, you know, that's not working. The yeah, other curls are bouncing and lovely, but this frizz here, this didn't go anywhere. Um, that's what I'm shooting for. I'm shooting for no frizz and for the curls to all look equal and, but I guess what happened, uh, it's not how it works. That means it's not how it works. I guess you need three or four different products when you have three or four different hair types in your hair. We all have three or four different hair types. I think it's, I think black people, I don't know if anybody else does, but we all got like three or four different hair types. So it's like, you got to Use one thing for one piece, another for another. I know the middle part is different and the back is way different than the front and blah, blah, so yeah. Another hair fell. And sometimes, one thing I gotta say, sometimes products that make your hair look really good, like I have one product that made my hair, let me see, it's actually this. This is not, this is the brand, Diva Curl. Um, yeah, Diva Curl. This is not the product that I use. This is a defining gel. I used um, like a milk custard, whatever, curling cream, curling cream. That made my curls beautiful. But the aftermath was hideous. My hair was really dried out. The next day, it just looked really bad the next day. All, all, the next day, I just had to wet it and do it again. It looked great. But by the end of the week of using it, my hair seemed a little damaged or just dry. So it's not good to use on a regular basis but anyway that's it i'm out uh, send me some products y'all i mean send me some product ideas that i can use on my hair and see what happens all right i'll talk to y'all later